Every second that the installation takes place, what you see and, and what you hear is new. The concept is all about taking a space and exploring its geometry and its features and allowing users to sort of see more about a space than what you see with the naked eye. This artwork is an immersive mixed reality installation. I would like to explore the mixed reality age between the virtual reality and the reality on this moment. Chasing the sky is more like my self-expression poem. I prefer to stay indoors. I normally look out the west mountain from my window in Beijing and overlook the trees and the lakes in my home in London. Sometimes I can see some wind and sometimes I can see some people. Even though they seem close at hand all the time, but for me, they are still a part of outside world. When someone comes to, to visit the installation, they walk into the space which initially is dormant, it's low of energy. They're then able to interact and add energy and excitement to the piece by using a mobile phone and using augmented reality. They're able to look around the room. Wherever they look in the room, they will add energy into the simulation. And that then adds energy into the visual content. Through 3D scanning, me and my team rebuilt the architectural space and project motion graphics mapping onto the surface of the architectural structure so the audience can see the floating virtual effects blooming and a moving skyscape in the space where they can interact with by real-time rendering. There's a lot of technology involved behind the scenes. It's a projection piece, but we're not just using projectors in a normal way. We're using projectors and shining the lights on curved mirrors. We have three projectors, three curved mirrors, and using that we can make light hit all of the surfaces in the space. To make the image in the room look correct, the projectors need to be calibrated. And to do this, we use a system with a camera and we project out these images. It's called structured light. And that allows us to build an understanding of the room so we know exactly where each projector pixel needs to go. The result of this is that we're able to project 360 degree content all around the room and there's a seamless image all the way around. In this artwork, I took virtual method to present reality. I try to use virtual effects created by real-time data to discuss realistic instance inside a virtual technique. The heart of the visual content is a fluid simulation, essentially. It simulates the behavior of fluids and smokes. This is the, the living system that's, that's been designed to represent the, the forces in the sky, in the movement of air and, and gases in the sky. We're using spatial audio, so surround sound, we're moving sounds around and creating a soundscape within a, a physical building by placing speakers in different areas, letting the system and the user's interactions change how the audio sounds and where it comes from. So the biggest technical challenges in this project, I guess, have been primarily the tracking system, something called SLAM tracking, which is a way of a mobile phone with camera and accelerometer to understand kind of what its environment looks like and where it is in a space. Traditionally, this is used for kind of AR and mixed reality applications. We're using it as kind of inside out tracking, which means we want the phone to tell us where it is in our space making that much, much harder because we're projecting moving images on the entire space and we have very low light levels. So it's been a significant challenge to get that working, but it's, um, it creates a really great interaction. All of those things hopefully come together to create something where you, you know where you are, you can maybe see a physical architectural space in a slightly different way, but also maybe you forget where you are and you end up in a, in a very different kind of a space. <laughs>